hit the notification button so that you get the next video when it comes up we are continuing from the strengths are uh, more than interest which are it helps them they help children discover both that's what the next topic is all about we, we started it from the last video and then we are uh, continuing from where we left off so it describes it goes on to say that strengths are the positive feelings that children have when they perform different actions. Interests are the areas in which they apply their strengths. So you see, there are two main things. Interests are the areas where they apply their strengths. And the strengths are the positive feeling that children have when they perform different actions. And the interests are the areas in which they apply their strengths so what they are interested in that's where they put in their energy so they begin to build that strength where they have their interests so you begin to notice that they have interests maybe in biology or they are they have interest in playing soccer that is where they put in the energy to build their strength so that's the two most important things that we need to um, focus on when it comes to developing their potential. So interests are the areas in which they apply their strength. For example, some children may be drawn to animals and therefore it can be said they have an interest in animals. However, one child may like to care for animals while another may enjoy training them. So the strength for one child is caring and for the other is teaching. So their interest is in animals, but their strengths are different. One is caring and one is teaching. So there are two most important things that we need to take note of that. The strength for one child is caring and for the other is teaching. So the strength is what sometimes someone likes to do while the interest is where he or she like to apply it. So have their interest, and then within that interest, they have their strength. Exactly what position they are in in that, of that interest. So the strength can be transferred to other interests. For example, the child who likes to train animals may also like to teach children. So there's a transference of what? Of strengths. So when you help children discover both their strengths and their interests, they have a good chance to develop a true passion. So you see, the interest and the strength goes hand in hand. They go hand in hand. So where the child interest is, they have a particular strength in that interest and they develop that strength. So both their strengths and interests, they have a good chance to develop a true passion. So a child can have mathematics as his or her strength and their interest might be playing supermarket, receiving money from customers and giving them due change. So you see how it all plays out. The child can transcend that same strength into other interests like those related to being a bank cashier for example all these strengths and interests make up the unique child and it's his or her joy to discover his or her own potential and passion so as we were discussing the strengths and the interests go hand in hand and sometimes it in it interchanges. You can have a strength in reading and then your interest will be particularly 
on some specific maybe fiction or science sci-fi or any story or, or, or novels and some interest will be maybe in writing and then your strength will be vocabulary somebody can be good in writing good vocabularies so you see it goes hand in hand and that brings out the true passion of that individual so you understand how both works so let's carry on now let them tell their own stories that is the, 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 the following the, the next point let them tell their own story because if they do they have the opportunity to express themselves children do not care if you walked 10 miles to school to discover their strength they want to know that you care about what their unique experiences in the world are not necessarily how you did things so let them find their own paths they may not want to play basketball just because you did that is what happens when parents get into a profession and they push their kids to do the same maybe that is not what they are in this world to to pursue maybe their interests and strengths are in a very different area so we don't have to be pushing them to do what we do you either have to support them you just have to you know um encourage them so that their interests and their strengths will be developed by them they have to experiment they have to explore and they have to innovate so sometimes they forgo their own passions to please you and that is very wrong that is absolutely not right they forgo their own passion just to please you and that is exactly what is happening in most of the families so parents please be um, considerate with this particular point sometimes they forgo their own passion just to please you and then they end up suffering in the near future when you are not alive so please let's give them the benefit of the doubt to explore to innovate and to experiment so that they come out with their best what they love their passion and what they love to do so sometimes children will have the talent gift ability and the potential to be a songwriter and a solo artist but their parents will want them to be a doctor so you push them in the line of being a doctor and for almost seven years they are studying and they are not even willing to do that studies they are pushing themselves and they are struggling to become a doctor because you want them to but meanwhile if he or she had gone down the path of songwriting maybe they, they could have been a star within few years rather than waiting for seven years to become a doctor they will be pushed to become a doctor and miss that celebrity status that could have brought that individual success and wealth so sometimes we push them away from the track they are they are supposed to apply and by so doing they lose whatever they are supposed to 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 have and that is a warning that we all have to learn when it comes to parenting please don't push your child because you went into or you're a doctor or you're a lawyer please let them follow what their talents are let them come out shining so that they will be the best that they can do not undertake or participate in any form of comparison of a child to his or her older sibling that is another point there should not be any sibling comparisons there is nothing more hampering of children's ability to discover their own strength than when they feel they are constantly being compared to their perfect siblings every child will be unique and different you can never 
compare please parents make note of that every child will be unique and different welcome back to the point do not undertake or participate in any form of comparison of a child to his or her older siblings no comparison that is the most dangerous thing parents do there is nothing more hampering of children's ability to discover their own strength than when they feel they are under constant attack being compared to their perfect perfect siblings every child will be very unique and different the differences are causes of celebration or the differences are causes for celebration and appreciation not comparison that make them feel not good enough or useless you can see the differences in your children early on earlier on in life or in their life they or the more you celebrate this is the better so what we are saying here is that there shouldn't be any sibling comparison that is the most dangerous thing that a parent can do you don't have to every individual or every child that you have is unique in their own way don't ever compare your child a to your child b your child b to your child c no appreciate and celebrate their individuality because that will bring out their shine you don't have to do that comparison it's going to knock down their confidence parents please listen to this point very clearly teachers please listen to this point very clearly because some of the teachers also compare um the pupils to others if somebody is shining maybe in physics or in other subjects they compare them to other siblings or other pupils in the class you don't do that every individual is unique and they are best at what they do the parents celebrate your child's individuality don't compare them because child a is better off in this particular area than b don't do that don't knock down their confidence don't constantly compare them it's not a good thing there shouldn't be any comparison please allow them to be their best celebrate that comparison celebrate that differences so that they will feel proud of themselves they will feel confident of themselves so that when they go out there when somebody is trying to point finger they know who they are because their parents have given them that they, they've identified they've given them the, the opportunity to know what kind of person they are so please let's top the comparison is very very important it's very 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 important please give them as many choices about what to do as possible that's the next point we will deliberate on the next point as soon as i get back we will deliberate the next point as soon as i get back because it's very very important don't do not give them many choices as they 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 they, they are ready to to take so that they will be at peace with what they do they are not going to be restricted so let's come back and watch um let's deliberate on this point